ASEA has always been a company that wants to invest in research and development. Since we began the company in 2008, it's a small group of people working hard to bring something that we knew was important uh, to the people of the world. Our fundamental strategy has always been to invest in research, to show people that we're not afraid of saying what this product is and what it does. We knew that there were amazing results that people were having, but we also knew that we were at the cutting edge of the technology. You know, with that, we had to be able to provide evidence or the science to show not only that the testimonials are true, but why are they true. One of the most impressive things about working with ASEA, and one of the reasons why I agreed to join the Scientific Advisory Committee, is the fact that ASEA is dedicated to performing the highest quality science in the field. ASEA has been successful at reaching out and making partnerships with researchers that are experts in their area of disease research or scientific research. When we look at doing research and finding someone to partner with, um, it's very important that we not only find someone who's an expert in their field, who's open to new ideas because this is a cutting edge technology, but also those who we feel hold uh, you know, high morals and high ethics. One example um, you know, would be Dr. Kenneth Ward at the genetics company. Dr. Ward is board certified in four areas of medicine. He is at the forefront of genetic medicine in and of itself. And his life work has been devoted to understanding the genetic mechanisms and genetic reasons behind disease. One of the reasons that we decided to part with Dr. Ward, not, not only of course because he's a phenomenal researcher, um, and not only because he has a phenomenal lab and amazing people that work with him, but you know because his philosophy and ours were very compatible. We want to make a difference. Dr. Ward, his time and his effort are there to actually help make a difference in the world. The study was designed in collaboration with ASEA and Torrid Labs to look at 60 participants and evaluate genetic changes between folks that were taking ASEA redox and those that were taking saline as a placebo control. This study was of the highest scientific caliber as it was executed, not only for ASEA, but also utilizing the Torrid Laboratory, which is an expert in genetic testing. What's important and very interesting about this study that's been performed is that the 20 to 31 percent changes in gene transcription activity in the ASEA redox group are genes that are attributed to not just structural components of the cell, but they actually touch regulatory cell signaling and metabolic pathway activity. Eight weeks later, after, ta after stopping taking the ASEA redox, the same experimental procedure was performed. And what they found was that the levels in transcription went back to zero went back to what they were at the study start. I think when you look at what ASEA has done in terms of the research, um, the production, the investment, you compare that to a lot of other companies in the nutrition world altogether, I think we stand alone, to be honest, I really do. Um, I think this new research, it, it points us in a direction that we're very happy with. One of the wonderful things about the results of this study is that it begins to open our eyes more to what the product does at a genetic level. And so being able to look and see what the ASEA redox group is experiencing, seeing these genes move is a very important thing. It helps us to see really what functions, what systems of the body are being helped. And I think for one of the first times uh, since the beginning of the company, we can now point directly to things that are occurring that lead to benefits. And we're really excited that there were things that were occurring that help point not only to, yes, the product is doing something versus say the placebo, but the product is doing things where it should be. That it's actually a signaling molecule affecting signaling pathways within the body.